It's not funny, Sydney. I'm sorry. It's not funny. It's really not. It's not funny. Yo, a nigga just tried to steal my motherfucking Uber identity. This nigga just tried to steal my Uber identity, bitch. Like, dead ass. Like, why is this happening? Bitch, just now. Bitch. Bitch. Sydney. Let me get it. Let me get it. Look. I feel fucked up. Here's what happens. Give me. Thank you. I got real text messages, actually. Look at this. Oh, y'all can't probably see. You know, you probably deaf. Oh, oh. Maybe. Let me try to, I'm trying to get it in focus. It's not working. That's sad. But I'm going to read you these fucking text messages. I'm going to read you these fucking text messages. Now I want to get back into the motherfucking story. It didn't say I'm outside. I'm dead at y'all. I happened to... Actually, you know what? Fuck all the backstory. The nigga that came to my job with those white people. Yeah. I don't know why he thought this was going to be his life, but he decided to try to call a fucking Uber on my account. See, when I was at his house, he was kidnapping me. He wasn't trying to let me use his Wi-Fi to have no fucking service. So I snatched his phone and was using the fucking Uber on his phone. I downloaded it on his phone. He did not have Uber. And I put my information in there to try to leave. And you know what ended up happening? I ended up not being able to get any fucking Ubers to come to me because at that moment, at the moment I tried, all the Ubers were leaving because this nigga lives on a fucking highway, bitch. So I naturally, eventually, not naturally, but eventually I did get the Wi-Fi password. I was able to kind of get, you know, um, an Uber to come because one Uber was going by the fucking highway and I was able to get them right away because there's the only Uber going by. So when I finally fucking got my Uber and I was able to leave, it was great and all that. But what, but y'all know what happened. I already made the video. This nigga came to my job with a white bitch and had a fucking martini spilled in my fucking store. Bitch, twice. The first time I saw it, I saw it Chef, Chef Mentor Highway. And I was like, this nigga really tried to call an Uber on my account? I didn't say nothing. I actually called his phone. No answer. I canceled the trip though first. Then... 10 minutes later, I went, I changed, I tried to change my fucking, um, I tried to change my fucking email, but then I got distracted with this pizza, and I see, I happened to just pick up my fucking iPad, and I happened to see that a trip was on the way, and I was like, what the fuck, and that was mad weird to me, G jump, say what I be thinking, bitch. G jump 89 say what I be thinking bitch like real talk but look so I called him again no answer cause bitches are dramatical bitches be Broadway for no reason dial it down Meryl dial it the fuck down no I didn't contact Uber bitch I changed my fucking my fucking password that's what I did so I'm good now because he's not a fucking technological ass nigga like I told you before he was sitting in the dark with a fucking PS4 Low level. I wasn't worried about his criminal skills. I wasn't worried about his like fucking deep thinking ass thought skills. I wasn't worried about that. I just changed my password and I knew the nigga didn't really know me. So he didn't know my, what my password was. Honestly. And I want to say what my password is because it's hilarious. But I don't want to get hacked, bitch. I'm not silly. But the password was obviously in response to what the fuck happened. So I was dead as hell when I was writing it. Because I was like, oh my god, niggas is so messy and crazy. For nothing. What a ride. Girl. So then, tell me why, as soon as I canceled the trip, this nigga gonna text me, bitch! And you know, I'm the type to pass out a receipt. So you know you're gonna get these text messages on Instagram, bitch. They coming, bitch. I'm just on Periscope right now. Y'all getting the tea first. But I'm gonna read y'all the fucking text messages because they are trashly, okay? They are trashly stanks, okay? I can't deal, bitch. Girl, I'm trying to.
Let me get some of this black cherry into me. Let me get my energy. <coughs> Rasaya, nope. Nope, but it's a good that's a good guess. Rasaya thought it was. Uh you tried it, bitch, but it ain't. <coughs> and see, I've been thinking about putting a name on my a picture on my Uber for a minute so I don't get snatched. But I ain't been wanting to because I changed my wigs too much. So I'm scared one day I'll have a curly fro in the picture and I'll come out with the OD straight and they're like, this bitch a catfish and they drive off on me. So I don't know. That's my real thought process. So. Oh, they can't see the pics? I thought they could see the pics. Bitch, look at this. He gonna text me, you're a real asshole, son. And the nigga got the nerve to have a fucking signature on his fucking text message. <laughs> I'm glad you brought that up. That shit was a wicked ass. For what? Gonna have, hell yeah, fucking right, as the motherfucking tagline. And I want to tell y'all right now, all y'all zodiacal, zodiacal niggas, Capricorn against Capricorn. This is why I don't fuck with us. <laughs> Because we crazy, we kind of wildin'. Like, no shade, I did this to a Capricorn nigga before. Yes, it was on a different circumstance. I was scorned. I was scorned. Maybe that's how he's feeling. Maybe he was feeling scorned. But I never scorned him. He scorned himself. And now all the scorn he feels is, re is residual scorn from scorning me. So anyways, I said, you really tried to use my Uber, you bum. I never say bum. I never call people bums. But I was like, he's a bum. I'm feeling it today. I'm feeling bum. He's a fucking bum. And then he gonna go say, then he gonna say this. LMAO, I'm paying. What the fuck? Like he mad. Like he mad I said no. Like he mad I, can I canceled the trip. Like he mad I canceled him. Huh? I said, how, how dare you try and use my Uber after you came to my job with those cave dogs? Hell no. Get a cab, nigga. And then I said United, which is a popular cab company in New Orleans. A little bit of a history lesson for you. Mm -mm. And then you know what he says to me? Man, shut the fuck up. I don't know those people. Hell yeah, fucking right. Every time, hell yeah, fucking right. At the end of every goddamn thing he says. This is being recorded. And this is just wild as fuck. Like, this literally just happened, bitch. The, 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 the timestamp is 1042. I'm quick with the roast, bitch. It's as if I had the fucking oven on and it was lit and ready. He said, man, shut the fuck up. I don't know those people. I said, LMAO. Eight O's, bitch. Maybe more. I can't count. You're such a bum, Sean. Caps. Because I was angry. I was reading it as like, Sean. His like, name is Sean. I wasn't reading it like that. Yeah, but his name is spelled S-H-O-N. He I has a like, different Shun. spelling of Sean, but his name is fucking <laughs> oh, Sean. funnier in my brain. Keep it like that, oh, you thought I was just saying shun? You, th you think I was saying shun? I did. I thought you were that You think I was just saying shun? <laughs> I guess I could say shun, but I wasn't. I would do that, though. That's why I think I thought that. Cause that's why I that that nigga's name is Sean. Yes, Tiny the Ninja. S-H-O-N. I'm not going to roast his name because, you know, I don't do that shit. That's anti-black. Black folks have all different type variations of names. Even my name is spelled differently. So, I'm not going to come for anybody named Sean without the all. I'm not going to come for the missing vowel. I'm not going to do it. You're not going to bait me. I'm going to move on. I said, like, nigga, you're stealing my Uber. Tom about your pay, caps. And then this nigga... Deadass gonna say,
Oh, and then I said, I'm the nigga. I said, that's how, not how it works. I get charged and you get to ride for free. And then he says to me, bro, I don't know how this shit works. Hell yeah, fucking right. Where's my fucking lighter? What the fuck? Already, I'm disgusted. A bum tried to snatch me. A bum tried to, tried to touch me. Real talk. I'm glad my new wig is in the next room. My wig don't need to be here and this happening to me, okay? This wig has no drama, no baggage, okay? It's free of all that, okay? I'm here with my natural letting y'all know someone tried it tonight. Someone told a lie. Yes. So look. I said, I'm going to your job tomorrow and I'm exposing you, Sean. Um, I said, everyone's going to know you're a shady little critter. I said, you don't know how Uber works, but you deadass called two fucking rides just the fuck now. And I canceled those shits. You walk in and then I posted walking emoji. Then you know what he says to me? I thought I could pay cash. That's what I mean, you fucking asshole. I ain't no thief and I ain't shady. Hell yeah, fucking right. And I like that song. And now it's tainted forever. People stay ruining music for me. I'm disgusted. You know what? I don't have time, Cool C Sings. If I made hot grits for him, that would mean I gave a fuck about him. I'm going to the job with the receipts and I'm going to be like, excuse me. Hi, I don't know you very well, but that man, Sean, uh, last night, he definitely hacked into one of my accounts and tried to steal money from my credit card. I'm not really sure what kind of operation you run here, but I'm very worried and disturbed. Because as far as I'm concerned, if you're trying to steal somebody's Uber, you're stealing from their credit card. And I'm not going to go to Policia, but I'm going to go to the white man that runs the shit. I don't give a fuck. I'm a snatch. I don't care. I don't care. And he's still getting dookie on his bike. I don't care. I don't care. Allegedly. I don't care. I don't care. So that's what it is. Bitch, I'm going in with my fucking gray wig, bitch. And I'm gonna fucking slay it to the gods. I'm gonna have a fucking OD long ponytail to the right. Like Nene, bitch. I'm not even gonna do no parts. Fuck it. I'm gonna just live my life. So then I said, You thought, bitch? You thought? You thought, bitch? You know I said that. Because I love Summerella. What up, bitch? Shout out to you. She's hilarious. And beautiful. Um, But yeah, I hit him with the, You thought, bitch? You thought, you thought? And then I said, I'm really floored. Because that's, that's when I decided to, you know, go in on him. You know what I mean? I said, I'm really floored. I said, you, I said um, after I went to your house and all you did was play video games and ignore me the whole time. And you didn't even have the hookah or the games. And then he said, Fuck you, you fat bitch. You better not come to my job anymore. I'll have my sister beat the fuck out of you. Hell yeah, fucking right. Violence claim. He told me his sister was going to fight me. And I was like, hmm. Got the lighter, darling. Thank you. You see, I'm unbothered. I'm unbothered because I've seen his sister. I thought it was his girlfriend, but now I know he lives with his sister. Or some woman. That he alleges is his sister. But I know who she is. And she's little. So. Not worried. Anyways. I'll continue my dramatic reading. Um, And I said. I'll be a fat bitch. And your sister can come through whenever. And I said. What's fucking popping? I know where you stay Sean. I got the Uber receipts. I want a mic drop, but I don't want to hurt this phone any further. <coughs> don't play I respect that. you. I respect you. So, he gonna say, so fucking what, man? Nigga, don't care about that. I'm about that life. Hell yeah, fucking right. And I know he flexing. <laughs> and I said, 
Have your sister meet me there. Oh, wait, she's already there. LMAO, y'all live together, right? And I said, you not. And the best part is you tried the right one. Watch out, little dirt dirt. And that's just what the fuck it is. Exactly. Exactly. I'm so hyped to pop up at his fucking little gerb. And I work tomorrow all day in the morning. It's going to be cute. <laughs> See, this is the type of shit that got me about to get my wig together tonight. So I could just slay everything. So I could just look like, oh my God, like somebody hacked my Uber. Yeah, I'm about to be on some sad teas tomorrow. I'm excited. As much as I want to record the pop-up, I feel like, bitch, I'm traveling with an iPad. It's going to look mad obvious. I'm going to be like, mm, what's popping? You know what I mean? Like, what am I really going to do with an iPad? I feel like I could probably record audio. I feel like y'all could probably get audio. Probably not visuals, though. Being real with you. No, but you know what? I've been using my iPhone, my uh, my iPad as a phone, bitch. Yes, okay. Got that three. But, um, I have a phone app on it too, bitch. It's really smart because really all I gotta do is pay $2 for like a little bit of minutes. I don't really talk to nobody out there. I talk to like people on FaceTime and shit. So that's me. Um, at 84 Nini, thank you for reminding me because I'm like, hold on, I don't want to put my, but the thing is though, I'm not trying to fight nobody because he's not going to fight me. No one's going to fight me. That whole danger was fake. He's not going to fight me. He's not going to get anybody to fight me. You know what Sean's going to do? Michaela, ew, I'm just disgusted. I, I wouldn't have told him nothing. And I'm just dead that he's talking about some fucking, he don't know how to use Uber. Well, bitch, you knew how to call a motherfucking ride again after I clearly canceled it. Like, you're the one that's the ghost on there. You know it's mine. I was the one tripping. I was like, is, does Uber got a buzz? I was like, what's popping? Why Uber trying to take me to the highway to get picked up? What's going on? I was alarmed. There was no address. It just said the highway. I was like, Uber. It just said the highway. I was like, Uber. Why are you trying to go there? Who's there? I was like, where's the, where's the, uh, where's the drop off location? Is someone trying to use my coin to come to me? What's going on? I was so scared. Ugh. <sighs> <laughs> he got my uber when i went to his house i went to his house he told me he had a bomb hookah he told me he had a a, a fly ass hookah setup he told me he had cool video games we was about to chill calm down i don't know real talk it's somewhere around here though do you know somebody somebody uh on youtube said left me a comment because i put up the whole video without cutting it out and i didn't edit us and there was like a part where um, I was I was like, I ran out of papers and I was like, and we were like having this whole thing and you were like, I'm very upset at you. And somebody was like, is there a way I could send you like a lifetime supply of papers? And I was like, that's crazy. Yes, please. No. Yes, please. <laughs> I never want to leave this home again. I'm dead. In the name of paper. You're hilarious. <laughs> I'm dead. La papi. I love papers though. She's not a paper person. I'm the paper person. Um, but yo, I'm dead. This nigga tried to fucking steal my Uber, y'all. Like, watch out. The streets is reckless. You can't even chill with niggas no more. Because niggas will really rob you. <laughs> niggas will really rob you. They will steal your PayPal money. <laughs> that is wild. I just never expected me to get caught up. Like, when it happened, when, it happened, when I did the shits with my old roommate, it was a situation where... He was being rude to me. He was treating me real bad and real fucked up. And um, <laughs> my, uh, y'all are so nice. They're saying cute stuff about you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. I'm playing. Um, but fucking, 
we was just having weird ass times and like one time like I guess like him and Audrey shared an Uber right cause it was in his Google wallet and that nigga had money he was rich so she would be taking trips on it and she would just be paying him cash so I took a couple trips and I paid him some cash but then he started acting real trick out of nowhere because my job was acting real trick cause Aubrey, Aubrey, Aubrey the bitch fucked up my job and had my boss looking at me kind of crazy for some like shit that I wasn't really even involved in and but anyways she tried to like she was trying to snatch my job so she had my job all fucked up so I couldn't pay him back all all right away and then it was a whole situation where it was like bitch you snatched my job from me and then now y'all is trying to get money from me who the fuck, like, well, who does that? I'm like, you who fucked up somebody's plug and then trying to get the connect. It don't work like that. You can't fuck up my money and then be like, where, you, where the money? Bitch, gone. Actually, and then I was like, bitch, actually, now you got two jobs. You're good. Now I just got to pay back Jason, bitch, because you're good. You took my job. You got my money. Bye. You got to be a crusty dusty to steal somebody's job on some bullshit. Like, but the real tea is... The dude that I was working for, he had this system of, like, paying people under the table and then all of a sudden being like, I'm paying you checks. But he, oh, he would only pay you checks for, like, three weeks or whatever so that he could fuck up your, so that he could, like, claim that he had someone working there so it wasn't looking suspicious on the IRS, you feel me? Um, but also that he could, like, you know, not have to really, like, pay you any real good money. Um, at all and then also rob you cause like he started he switched me to checks and then he robbed me and then like the same thing with Audrey he was paying her out the fucking register and then boop out of nowhere started uh, paying her in checks and then all of a sudden just didn't pay her her last fucking check and I was like bitch I told you like I was telling her it was shady the whole time and she was trying to treat me like I was shady she was like oh you're shady for working there I'm like no it's a shady ass place and then like when she starts working there she gets fucked over and then she's like oh she's like I thought you'd want to know that like she called me on some atone shit and was like I'm sorry for everything that happened like I was just like scared of like losing like um Jason as a connection and da da da, da. and I was like word I feel that but at the same time like it was just kind of like annoying as fuck and then she was on some shit like oh like my boyfriend like my boyfriend woke me like she was basically on some shit where like now she's woke because like she met this like dark-skinned black man who like was like talking to her about like blackness and shit and it just like had me dead because I was like bitch I spent like literally six months with you like trying to like not even wake you up but just like be just conscious around you and it made you mad and you didn't fuck with me but then as soon as you was getting some like as soon as you was getting some dick from a nigga that was saying that same shit then you fucked with them. But I, I always felt like there was some sort of romantic relationship that she wanted to have with me. But I feel like it was just, I feel like because I didn't want to have that and I still wanted to be conscious with her and have like a friendship with her. I feel like that's why our friendship went fucking left. Because I feel like when people expect, you know, a relationship from you and they're putting in energy only to have a relationship. It's like when it's not being returned, they feel like you owe them and they feel fucked up and they feel like now they can't fuck with you at all. Like they literally like cut you out. And I feel like Taurus ass nigga, like not to no shade the road really on Taurus because I don't really have too many experiences with y'all, but like decided to be shady and petty behind my back and snatch up a job that wasn't even worth having that I only had because I was living with her and I was trying to help her out like she she offered me to live there but it's like real talk I'm helping y'all I'm paying y'all rent so it's like folks be acting like you charity but then folks be taking money from you and like eating off you smoking off you and eating off your labor but like and also, like, catch new skills and get new jobs because of you. But it's like, folks really don't feel any value towards you. It's like, I feel like that's, like, my main issue with, like, community. I was watching uh, Susie Carmichael's uh, video about community not being real. And that shit is mad true. Like, community is not real. I feel like we really have to treat it on person-to-person -person basis. Because I feel like the community can say one thing. You could feel another way. And, like, seemingly you're ostracized. And, like, a lot of things, like, pop off and transpire within discourse. But I feel like community, for the most part, is fake. Every time I meet people who talk about community, like, it always be some bullshit. So it's like, I don't know what to think now. Now I feel... And, I, and not to mention, every time I've tried to create community, it always just goes haywire. Because, like... It just seems like there's this, like, I don't know. I just feel like there's so much trauma going on that I feel like people are so traumatized that I feel like it's, like, really hard because I feel like all interactions have to be brand new. I feel like all interactions, like, need to be kind of, like, you know, like, 
they need to be like more like intentional and i feel like we're kind of like wayward in our like like i feel like people are super strong and like calling out shit but like we're not as strong in like healing and we're not as strong in like acknowledging like our worth like i feel like it's like really i feel like it's especially easy especially as like you know a person of color to be super like so like caught up in like the resistance and the fucking and the fighting and i feel like that's mad valid and i'm not trying to like you know dismiss dismiss it because i feel like it's it's very important um and i feel like i'm someone that fights a lot and i feel like that's that's very valid but i feel like at the same time i feel like like i feel like i'm not as strong in in healing you know myself or in even healing other people like i feel like i'm still learning how to like heal from trauma and i'm still i think also learning that some hurts are just you know in ways like they're so attached to you that it kind of were it, it kind of blurs in ways like you can kind of feel like the attachment to whatever you have is actually like a trait that you possess you know like in ways like just acknowledging that like i have abandonment issues and then like still like keeping people around me for way too long sometimes and not really acknowledging how like they're not really helping me and like we're actually like in a damaged relationship with each other so but i feel like it's also true that like I feel like abuse has us so fucked up, like being traumatized has us so fucked up that I feel like it's really easy to just like walk away from like relationships and partnerships like really easily because like people are just so used to being left anyways. So I feel like that's also like part of like some of the stuff that I've been like thinking about, but I don't know. I'm just like dead y'all. Like I didn't even think, I didn't even think that this was gonna happen. Like, I just like, I don't know. I thought that the dude was gonna just like die. Like, I I don't know. Not maybe not die, but like just like disappear. Like never be like in my like near my space again. And I'm just like, damn. Like, this motherfucker is like not going away. So I like low key like need him to like get fired. Like so he's like not near me. But then I'm scared that like if he gets fired, like he's gonna like come at me crazy. Cause I feel like yo Capricorns have like low key we have like a long like we're we're, we're playing the long game. You know what I mean? And so that's the thing like. It's like, if I'm on, like, my vengeance streak, like, I have to believe that he could be on a vengeance streak. But I, but, I mean, he's saying that he didn't know, but I'm like, okay, but, like, even if you didn't know, that's so shady. Like, who does that? Like, how do you sign on to someone else's app and, like, just use their shit? It even says, like, payment. It says, like, how you're getting paid. Like, I don't know. It's just weird. No, he works down the street from me. See, book to read me. I think he does. I think he did know. Yeah, it's true, G John. Kunkwa, I saw you the first time with the melt his lawn chair. I'm dead. I mean, my thing is like, where would he sit then? I feel like his posture would just be destroyed. Maybe that's part of the long game too. I mean, I'm focused on the bike because I feel like a bike is like a car to, to some niggas. Like, when I get, when I, like, you know, get, like, really riding around, because I'm not riding around just yet, but, like, when I get to riding, that's going to be like a car to me, low-key. But, like, he is a bum. Like, I'm a, I'm eco-friendly, but he a bum. I'm playing. <laughs> Nigga, you look like high Pepe. Like your eyes are literally like the same shape and red. And you like didn't move Nigga. for a full 25 seconds. Um I'm I'm I'm, I'm be alright, but But yeah, no, this nigga lives or rather, this nigga, like, works, like, next door to me, but he lives in the, he lives way the fuck. Like, he literally lives, like, like five miles, at least, from, like, fucking the city. I don't know numbers, but he lives, like, way the fuck. More than <laughs> I don't know numbers. Stop, Dad. I don't. He lived more than, like, like. He like, lived he far. Lived, like, you know, it's like, oh, he live over there. He live over there. Like, yeah. Far. Please, Aaron, he ain't worth the bricks. I just can't believe. <laughs> Kai box, yes, just way the fuck. That's the distance. It is. 
I'm just like tripping. Like I'm like, wow. And he the worst part about it is he's gonna call me an asshole for like Burr. But he won't pick up the fucking phone. He wouldn't pick up the phone. That's what kills me. Like, yo, answer the phone. But I think he knew I was going to roast him like a peanut. But you know what, though? I prefer text because it's uh, evidence. We'll see things I'm dead. You hit me with the sardius ice. Cruel <laughs> youth. Oh wow, people are heard it. People did it. I didn't. I didn't, I didn't think you I, like it. I'm sorry. Because it was just so loud. Okay, like, on. I was what like, was I couldn't like, tell. No, listen, world. She just said, I tried to be polite. I was telling people I was trying to be polite. People were trying not to acknowledge. <laughs> I'm dead. She just said, no, nah, that was loud. <laughs> Yo, I'm dead. I'm dead at the emojis. Y'all are I out of control. Am so sorry. I've been having issues. She has. I drank baking soda. She drank baking soda. <laughs> like, she's been having, she's been having stomach issues, y'all. My y'all smell like death. Like, literally, like, she said, like, I don't want to put your friend out there, but Toya apparently made oh. some chicken salad. And she told me literally all day she kept burping eggs. I she have said she one, like one hearty teaspoonful, like one like, huh? I shall taste. What's not my she, taste? She had a small Did taste back for more. of some fucking chicken salad eggs all day long. And then when she drank the fucking baking soda water that her mama gave her, her belly was so bloated it was actually scary. And then she had to roll over on the bed and literally burp out all like of it. It was so loud. So I don't know. She's having stomach today, issues. That's why. Like, that's another. You know, what? it's good that you're not on cam because uh, no one actually had to see it because you actually like flew up. Like <laughs> you like moved. I think that's why I side eyed. I was like that <laughs> propelled you. Like you. That was a strong. Like it was loud and it was there. I want to go all the way away from life right now. Well, I want to crawl back inside of that. You fart literally and just look like away. that fucking like weed commercial with that girl who's like melted into the couch. Like you can't get out of the couch. I know you couldn't even stand up if you wanted to, because you're so deep into the couch right now. I see the couch, like the inside. I can see the inside of the couch because of how deep you are into it. Basically, I am the couch. Enjoy yourself. I'm so sorry, world. I'm so sorry. Flatulence is a thing. Kai box, I'm dead. <laughs> Zarin, yeah. We both have some very interesting laughs. Sydney just has a lot of noises. She she's good for it. like a weird like a like I don't know why she does any of this, but she does it. I love it about her. You know, I'm happy that she's next to me. She's a cool person. I gotta go away. I feel like I'm derailing. You are derailing. You're fine. I need to go away. You're the fine. The pizza's so close. But where's the pizza? Oh. Um, you made it sound like it was close to you, like it was near. It was close. I wanted to slice right now. I was like, where is that? Madam Bruja, y'all are nice. Y'all are cute. Kunkwat, there's a boo for you. You know what? There's all types of boos out there. You know what? I don't want to go into his home anymore. What kind of pizza did you get? Isn't it sausage and pepperoni? I already ate a slice, but I don't know what it was. The crust, though. Whoa. Hey, hut blend. It pizza hut blend. It was so delicious. <laughs> Zarin said fart over to the pizza. <laughs> Why are you doing all of that? I have to take a survey and then I get uh, 10 hours off of the pizza. Go I here. No idea, like, I'm gonna get oh, I was like, I need a coupon. Oh, I'm too high. And I got to do it before midnight. I'm going to like, You literally have 29 minutes. You are fucking out of control. 
she's like running through the house like holding on to her face just like running it's out of control I don't know Libra chicken cheeseburger pizza Jesus Christ You threw it in the trash, I think, already. Is that it? Nope. I'm not really invested in this. I feel bad. Alright, I'm gonna drink some of my soda. I looked around. I looked for the bag. You said a bag. I looked. There's no bags even near me, so... Sierra, Sierra, that sounds fucking bomb. Soraya, sounds bomb. Are you okay? Yes. Maybe it's in the car. It's probably in the car. It's probably in there. Yeah. You're okay. You'll be okay. Lonnie Bear, what up? Books read me. I feel like. My thing is, like, I want to do it tomorrow, but I don't know if he works tomorrow. I know he works Wednesday, though. And I come in two hours before he go he leaves. So I low-key am wondering, like, my thing is, like, if I come at the end of the day, is that, like, is it not as good? I don't know. Like, I feel like also it could be a situation because, like, if they fire him, he's going to certainly come right into my job. And then it's like, I have to deal with that. So... That's where I'm at, too. It's like, if he comes... And, like, my thing is, like, he could just come to my job on some, like, angry shit. Not even, like, trying to fight me. Just on some, like, disrupting shit. And, like, literally, when I come to work, like, the person I work with, like, leaves very soon after. So, I feel like if they did come through, I don't think they would be, like, helping me. Come on, I'm dead. He is messy, and I do have the receipts. And I know I didn't do anything wrong. I just feel like, I wonder, like, my thing is, like, I wonder if the bosses will even care. That's the other thing. It's like, what if I just, like, a messy bitch? You know what I mean? That's my other thought. It's like, they'll probably think I was messy or some shit. So, I don't know. Just saying. Like, I feel like they, like, might, like, you know, just, like, not give a fuck and, like, be like, bitch, get out of here. And, like, I be smoking cigarettes and they're enjoying it. <laughs> like, at this point, it's kind of like I have blackmail. It's like I could go whenever I wanted, you know, as long as, like, as long as he's afraid of me, that might work. I'm dead cunt quat. I mean, he is banned from the store, but. <laughs> yeah, G Jum. Like, I feel like, I feel like if I play it right, I'll just be able to smoke in there and finesse. Like, that's what, like, I don't want to get banned from the fucking smoking shop. And I feel like so far, I met one of the owners and he fucks with me. The other dude. I mean, like, he, like, I don't know, he's just a white dude looking around, whatever. But I feel like as long as I don't bother nobody and I chill and I'm, I'm only in there for, like, five minutes at a time anyway. So it's not like I'm ever taking away from the atmosphere. So in ways, I feel kind of, like, conflicted. Because, cause like, no, I don't fuck with him. And no, I never want to see him again in my life. But I'm just, yeah, exactly. Exactly.
And, like, the worst part about it is, like, he, he like, kind of seemed smooth when I first met him. Uh, like, honestly, all Capricorn dudes seem kind of, like, cool. Like, when you meet him, I guess, in the beginning. And that's, like, the worst part. Because, <laughs> like, this nigga was trash. Oh, my God. So trash. Lord have mercy. Like, it was a situation where, like, he was seemingly, like, so cool. Like, I remember one time I was, like... At his job, we were talking. I was like, are you going to get in trouble? And he goes, no. He's like, you're a customer, right? And I'm talking to you about cigars. Because I was, like, asking him about, like, what, like, what's the best, like, way to smoke weed or whatever. And he just, like, finessed it. He was like, fuck it. He's like, you're a, you're a fucking customer. I'm going to tell you. And then he, like, told me all this, like, cool shit about, like, basically weed conversations. He, like, basically told me about, like, uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm dead. He, like, told me about some dope shit. Honestly, cool see things. I want to get a slingshot. Oh, my God. Also, me and Sydney are going on a family trip. Camping. We're going camping. I'm excited. We're going to camping in Arkansas. Arkansas. We're going to Arkansas. And we're going to go camping in a yurt. I'm excited. In yurt in dirt. I'm going to make a video diary. There's Wi-Fi there. So I'm gonna, be able to, I'm gonna be able to periscope in the woods. Yay! What adventures we're going to Arkansas, y'all? Um, we're going to Hot Springs, Arkansas, and we're gonna go there and we're gonna get mineral baths. It's gonna be cute. I'm excited. Oh yeah, I'm in charge of s'mores. I already said that I was gonna buy them. I'm excited. Yay! 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 Oh, dude, honestly, like, me and Sydney have not been on a trip since, like, we went to go visit her sister. Like, her sister was just not feeling well. She was just getting sad about, like, leaving college. Because her sister loved college. Like, her little sister loves school. Like, she thinks school is so great, which is not me. So I was like, I want to meet this girl. <laughs> and, like, we met, and she's really funny and cool. And honestly, you know what made me like her sister? The first night we, like, slept in the hotel, like, we got... We got two beds, and, like, she slept in a bed, and then me and Sydney slept in another bed. And, like, she was, like, under her covers, like, l listening to fucking, or watching Teen Witch. And I, um, and I was like, oh, wait, is it Teen Witch? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. And I was like, bitch. I was like, you're so cool. I was like, her sister's not cool. Honestly, her sister liked all the, like, alternative rock white people music that I like from, like, the 90s, which is hilarious. And, like, I low-key, like, enjoy that about her. Um... And fucking, she's also like a baby Martha Stewart. Yeah, like she cute. loves events. Like she loves, you know, setting up the house. To... She's a Scorpio. She's a she's a Scorpio, but she's also like a a young basketball wife. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> like she's like she's very much like I feel like she's gonna find a basketball husband. I feel like that's her her personality. You know like what? she that needs is, leisure. You know she is, needs I, leisure I, and money. That is exactly what I never knew what the dude was going to be, but you're absolutely right. Basketball wife. She, she doesn't want to see him that much. And she loves what she calls it average black men. Like guys that are just like attractive. Like not too cute, not too hot, not too nice. Regular. Like regular. regular. Ass, but with money. Dude. But with money. And but with money. And basketball player would be perfect. Mm -hmm. She could stay right here in the hometown. I'm going to tell her get on that. Yeah, she a gold digger. She knows it though. She says I'm gonna it. Tell her she needs to start waist training. And she's halfway there. She messy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she would live for the drama. Yes. Oh my goodness, Casey gonna be the next Nene bitch. Yeah, I'm Real dead. Housewives of fucking New Orleans. I already just started fucking lighting her hair. <coughs> she be, uh, fucking platinum blonde and I know she was talking about she gonna dye her hair fucking strawberry blonde. I was like, okay, girl. I'm dead. Wait, you said waist training? Yes. You said she's going to be on Instagram? Oh, wait, you said, wait. No, I said she needs to start waist training so she can catch her basketball husband. I'm dead. Y'all, well, y'all already bought those fucking courses. You feel? We already Yo, wasted tell the me, money. Tell me why Sydney and her mama and her sister I'm all bought courses. No, my sister just me and my mom. Her and her mom bought courses. She was handicapped. They was trying to, like, uh, like, they was trying to, like, look small. No, <laughs> Somebody said, what like, kind? What kind? Like. The fucking medieval kind. Like medieval. Know. Like old school. Like, like Titanic. Corsets. Titanic. Like some shit Titanic. You even wear in public. And they was trying to strap each other up and shit. Yes, and bitch. My mama had a broken shoulder at the time, so she really like couldn't even strap herself, let alone me, really. So it was 
We was just two bumbling fucking idiots. No, and low key, like they're both kind of like they're just they have like little chummy, little chubby bellies. Yeah, we just bellies and booties. But yeah, they're bellies and booties, so it's kind of like when you do the corset, it like I feel like y'all will look weird with the corset, low key. Yeah, we don't Cause y'all even y'all don't even got no belly. Like it's like I have no torso. You don't got no torso to even <laughs> be wearing a corset. I'm like, hold on. I'm like trying to see you. And I'm like, where would the where would you even I, you don't even got enough back for that. <laughs> you don't make me choke. I hate I'm sorry. <laughs> That's exactly how I felt. Like I didn't have enough. And your mom is so small. I bet that corset was at her. T- was on her titties. Like that is a little. Like she has a. This is how big her chest is in her belly. And then she got a little. Be- I. What was that looking like? I'm oh, dead. Oh god. I mean, we can recreate. Please don't keep that shit in the closet. Like, I feel like y'all would just hurt yourselves at this point trying to get into a fucking corset. Just because y'all ain't been doing it. And I feel like y'all would just look ridiculous. Plus, y'all would be drunk. And your mama always got good food. Y'all have big ass food filled bellies trying to wear a corset. Y'all all throw up. <laughs> don't do it. Sounds bad. Sounds bad. Plus, I'll be hating because I ain't got one so I could look silly too. I wouldn't want to be involved. And Loki, I feel like I've had courses before. Oh God, that shit is for like a quick photo shoot, bitch. I'm like, not, it's not even quick. And then it was just all like right. fucking white linen and cotton or some shit. Like it was some industrial ass shit. That's a shame. We was living a weird life. We shouldn't have. That's why I had the. Yo, tell me why Sydney had her mama and and her sister trying to sell Avon. Sydney like called her mom and was like, "Look, we got to make some shit pop." And she had her mom buying mad Avon shit, and her mom never sold it. Her mom got OD Avon, her because her mom ain't going nowhere to sell nothing to nobody. She was like, at at one point, they just started buying it for themselves. They like her mom and her sister started just wearing mad Avon because they done bought so damn much. I was dead. I was like, Sydney, why would you tell your mom to buy Avon? She's like, I thought it would be a good a good investment. But her mom ain't set up like that. Her mom ain't like, ain't like that old lady that go to everybody house type lady. She would stay at her own fucking house. So she was never going to do that shit. I was dead, though. I thought that was funny. Sydney's family is hilarious, though. Honestly. Anyways, I'm probably about to get off here and go eat the rest of my pizza. I appreciate y'all for coming through though and being cool. But um, anyways, y'all have a lovely night. I'm gonna be uploading this very soon. Peace be to all y'all. Alright. I was like, what the fuck? And that was mad weird to me. G Jum, say what I be thinking, bitch. G Jum 89, say what I be thinking, bitch. Like, real talk. But look, so I called him again. No answer. Because bitches are dramatical. Bitches be Broadway for no reason. Dial it down, Meryl. Dial it the fuck down. No, I didn't contact Uber, bitch. I changed my fucking, my fucking password. That's what I did. So I'm good now because he's not a fucking technological ass nigga. Like I told you before, he was sitting in the dark with a fucking PS4. Low level. I wasn't worried about his criminal skills. I wasn't worried about his like fucking deep thinking ass thought skills. I wasn't worried about that. I just changed my password and I knew the nigga didn't really know me. So he didn't know my, what my password was. Honestly, and I want to say what my password is because it's hilarious, but I don't want to get hacked, bitch. I'm not silly, but the password was obviously in response to what the fuck happened. So I was dead as hell when I was writing it because I was like, oh my God, niggas is so messy and crazy for nothing. What a ride, girl. Maybe. Let me try to, I'm trying to get it in focus. It's not working. That's sad. But I'm going to read you these fucking text messages. I'm going to read you these fucking text messages. Now I want to get back into the motherfucking story. It didn't say I'm outside. I'm dead at y'all. I happened to... Actually, you know what? Fuck all the backstory. The nigga that came to my job with those white people. Yeah. I don't know why he thought this was going to be his life, but he decided to try to call a fucking Uber on my account. 
See, when I was at his house, he was kidnapping me. He wasn't trying to let me use his Wi-Fi and I have no fucking service. So I snatched his phone and was using the fucking Uber on his phone. I downloaded it on his phone. He did not have Uber. And I put my information in there to try to leave. And you know what ended up happening? I ended up not being able to get any fucking Ubers to come to me. Uh, so then, tell me why, as soon as I canceled the trip, this nigga gonna text me, bitch! And you know... I'm the type to pass out a receipt. So you know you're going to get these text messages on Instagram, bitch. They come in, bitch. I'm just on Periscope right now. Y'all getting the tea first. But I'm going to read y'all the fucking text messages because they are trashly, okay? They are trashly stanks, okay? I can't deal. Bitch, girl, I'm trying to. Let me get some of this black cherry into me. Let me get my energy. <coughs> Rasaya, nope. Nope, but it's a good that's a good guess. Rasaya thought it was uh you tried it, bitch, but it ain't. It's not funny, Sydney. I'm sorry. It's not funny. It's really not. It's not funny. Yo, a nigga just tried to steal my motherfucking Uber identity. This nigga just tried to steal my Uber identity, bitch. Like, dead ass. Like, why is this happening? Bitch, just now. Bitch. Bitch. Sydney. Let me get it. Let me get it. Look, I feel fucked up. Here's what happens. Give me, thank you. I got real text messages actually. Look at this. Oh, y'all okay. can't probably see. You know, you probably def. Oh, oh. Because at that moment, at the moment I tried, all the Ubers were leaving because this nigga lives on a fucking highway, bitch. So I naturally, eventually, not naturally, but eventually I did get the Wi-Fi password. I was able to kind of get, you know, um, an Uber to come because one Uber was going by the fucking highway and I was able to get them right away because there's the only Uber going by. So when I finally fucking got my Uber and I was able to leave, it was great and all that. But what, but y'all know what happened. I already made the video. This nigga came to my job with a white bitch and had a fucking martini spilled in my fucking store. Bitch, twice. The first time I saw it, I saw it Chef, Chef Mentor Highway. And I was like, this nigga really tried to call an Uber on my account? I didn't say nothing. I actually called his phone. No answer. I canceled the trip though first. Then... 10 minutes later, I went, I changed, I tried to change my fucking, um, I tried to change my fucking email, but then I got distracted with this pizza, and I see, I happened to just pick up my fucking iPad, and I happened to see that a trip was on the way.